It is that time. The Ultraman DLC is out. See, we've got our roster here. These are the original guys. These have been in the game since day one. There's a building. And as for alternate costumes, we've just got different glows on the characters. That, that was the problem with the Godzilla DLC too. Kiryu here, his backpack color changes, which is like almost negligible. Oh, right. Okay. He does the drop kick for his charge. Awesome. I want to say up front, I am not good at fighting games, especially this one. Yo, he does the he does the thing he did to Red King. Oh, that's the that's the taunt he does to Jiras. Oh yeah, baby, awesome. Oh my God, it's the it's the water move that he kills Jamila with. Poor guy. Oh yeah, I can throw buildings. They never land, but you can do that. I love the impact on that. I love the impact on that move, the drop kick. I will say, regardless of who was picked for this Ultraman DLC, I don't think there are a lot of bad picks in regards to what you could put in an Ultraman DLC. It is a shame that we didn't get more kaiju, but like, there's a lot of kaiju in the game already, but that doesn't mean there can't be more, you know? But that's fine. It's fine what we have. I'm a filthy apologist. Now most characters have taunts that they can do, and Tiga's lets him switch between forms. So this is his sky form. Let me do, let me do the, the spooper spooper move. Oh, that steals energy, I see. Oh, and he's just taking it. He's just letting it happen. Awesome. It's, it's kind of insane that this exists. That we have a game with Godzilla and Ultraman and they can fight each other and it's, it's what a lot of people have been asking for for years, and hey, it's here. It is a bit of a shame that, uh, because this is a, a licensing thing, that one day it'll be off the storefronts and uh, you won't be able to get the DLC. Man, I hope this game is selling well. <laughs> Why did he not turn into speed form there? Oh, he did. Oh, I see what's happening. He has like a red glow around him. So I think he's still in his neutral form, but he's actually in his speed form. Though I haven't seen any mods for this game. I wonder if there's like a end user's license agreement that says you can't, you can't do that. Bolton big boobs mod. If they really cared about their fans, they would put it in. But no, once again, modders save the game. Oh, that's cool. You just teleport in front of the other guy. That's one way to mess with people, jump in the air and... Well. Now I've never actually tried the mini games here. Let's see if they're worthwhile. Uh, time bomb. Uh, you gotta... Uh, oh, is it... Is, what is this? What is this one? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh no. I lost all of it. How does it feel, idiot? Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Oh, frick. I feel like Destroy is another one of those characters you give your sibling. They don't know how to play the game, but hey, they're pressing buttons, it's working. That's fun. That's fun. Doing this. Yeah, Destroy is fun. I don't care if he's the, the kid brother character. That is so overpowered. I can't believe the game lets you steal health like that for this mode. Now, they knew what they were doing with this pick. I just want to say that. But me, I refuse to be psyoped. So yeah, she uses a whip. She uses a laser whip. And she can stun with bats. In that sense, she's like Dracula. She got that sassy pose. <laughs> I wonder if those things required some extra licensing. They're a separate entity from her. Yeah, Zero would have been born by the time of Seven. He was put in a timeout corner for thousands of years. Well, actually, that would have been a recent incident, wouldn't it? Because Leo was already on Earth at the time. It's Ultraman timeline bullshit. It's not supposed to be taken seriously. Stanky like, got him! 
Yeah, oh, that, that's so cool. Does the anti-air work on giant guys? Yeah, the girls are fighting. I'm going to give myself a cleaner take of that. The girls are fighting. Women. She is such a bad bitch, though. That's that's the end of the quote. There's nothing else after that. Where's all the female representation? You know what? You never know. Gorogon could be a woman. Yeah, I don't I don't know any Gamera picks that would be like bad rep. Whatever's picked for a Gamera DLC, I feel like people would be happy. Daimajin would be interesting. The Whale God, that'd be interesting. She is such a bad bitch, bitch though. Oh my god. Is it me? Is it him? Whoa! What happened there? Auto combo. I actually won an online match. That's crazy. Hit the gritty. Oh, shit! Oh, that's cool. We actually got one. We actually got one. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> we both had the same idea there. I've got a couple friends who own this. I should, like, tell them to play it again. Get out of here. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I'm playing against someone in chat. What are the odds? You show up on my stream and embarrass me. How dare you for being good at video games. GG. The battle of all time, PC versus Xbox. Hmm, that's weird. Why is it doing that? Oh, boo. Now, a strategy with this game when you're fighting against other people, you don't want to go Giga Mode first. You want to let the other person do that, because otherwise yours runs out before theirs, and if you can't beat them within that time period, then, you know, it's over. He who giggles first bashes last. Any tips on starting a channel? I started this one in 2013, essentially. Basically, I made gaming videos to start with. Don't make gaming your main thing. Gaming is a fun little side thing you can do. At least that's how it worked out for me. You can start with gaming, but you will eventually shift towards other topics. And it may take years for a channel to grow. It took a very long time for me. I wasn't serious about consistency with uploads and topics until most recently. As of right now, I'm trying to make one 30-minute video a month. Doing multiple of that is very draining, and you will want to die if you try doing that. It's why there's been a bit of a delay with the Ultra Q video. I was just so burned out from that Halloween special. Now that enough people are here, I guess I can talk about Rise of Ultraman or Ultraman Rising. I saw the trailer earlier. I think the visuals are very cool. It's a very stylized. I like the look of it a lot. The humor, I don't know if they just picked the worst jokes of the movie or the worst dialogue of the movie to showcase or not. I'm hesitant on commenting on that. It was it was very a is for messing up my game. It was very corny in a way that I didn't really enjoy. But then the introduction of the kaiju baby. I don't know how to feel about that. that. That seems really lame. But I guess it's supposed to be a... He needs to be responsible. He needs to be more responsible. So he's raising a kaiju baby. I The movie has yet to come out. So I'll reserve my best judgment for when it comes out. You know? The cynical side of me is also like... They put the baby in it because people respond well to babies you know baby yoda the minions you know cute characters and you know if it works it works i've talked about it a bit on twitter i think what gigabash is really missing right now is more single player content probably gonna come off as scatterbrained because i'm getting my ass kicked here but i'm a good streamer <laughs> The story mode is really charming. I, I really like that. It's really charmingly presented. There needs to be more of it, I think. And I think there needs to be another mode to, to keep players enticed. I was thinking something like Save the Earth's Adventure Mode or uh, Ultra Fighting Evolution 3's uh, Alien Invasion Mode. Just something with some replayability. The core game is very good. 
but content wise I could use a little more because otherwise it's this the arcade mode or the story mode in regards to single player options also mayhem that seemed fun I mean if Monster Island Buddies ever approaches me then yeah sure I'll I'll guess star in one it's one of those things where I, I gotta be approached, you know? I don't want to be like, hey, uh, I like your content, I want to do the video. Because that's just awkward. For those who don't know, I've already started watching Ultra 7 for the Ultra Retrospective. I'm watching some episodes with the TNT dub, and it's very funny. While I have your attention, I'm going to play some of it. No. Ultra 7! That's not Darren. No, Donna, he's an imposter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the voice they gave Ultra 7 in the dub. Ultra 7! The Corellans are everywhere! Come with me! <laughs> it's fantastic. You guys want to hear more of the English dub for Ultra 7? You know what, let's, let's listen to it now. This, this attack's gonna kill me, so let's just listen to some of it now. Okay, this is the scene where he sits down with Dan. We'll have a little talk. I'm sorry you did not bring your charming little friend with you. <laughs> we now know all about your little plan. You might as well give up. Uh, <laughs> can we hear that again? I want to hear that again. You, you can tell this dub is Canadian because Dan says a boot there. Let's hear that. We now know all about your little plan. You. We now know all about your little plan. I know so. Our plan is wonderfully clever and absolutely infallible. You can tell the actor is like pinching his nose when he's talking for this voice. By simply increasing your natural propensity for violence, we can just sit back and watch you kill each other. It's enough. That's enough English Ultra 7. We gotta get back to the game. I'm about to die. Thanks for joining. Have a good rest of your night. Eat your veggies and whatnot. Yeah, that's a good way to end it. Good night, everybody.